Naomi was a woman from Bethlehem who lived during the time of the judges. She was married to a man named Elimelech, and they had two sons, Malon and Kilion. When a famine struck Judea, Elimelech and Naomi and their two boys relocated to Moab. There, their sons Malon and Kilion married two Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. After about ten years, tragedy struck her home. Her husband Elimelech died, and both of Naomi's sons also died, leaving Naomi and her daughters-in-law, Ruth and Orpah, widows, penniless, and without a male protector. <laughs> Naomi was devastated by her losses. She said, The Lord has brought me such great misfortune. I went away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. Why call me Naomi? The Lord has dealt harshly with me, Ruth 1 20, 21. The Hebrew name Naomi means pleasant or gentle. Naomi was not in a pleasant state. Naomi decided to return to homeland in Bethlehem. She urged her daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth, to return to their families in Moab. Since they had no children nor any male support left, they were free to go wherever they wanted. Ruth refused to leave her. She said, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from following you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death separates you and me. Ruth 1 17. Naomi and Ruth returned to Bethlehem. Naomi was so poor that she had to glean in the fields to gather leftover grain after others had harvested. One day Ruth was gleaning in a field belonging to a man named Boaz, and Boaz noticed her and inquired after her. Who's the girl in the field? Boaz was a wealthy and respected man, and he was also a kinsman redeemer of Naomi. A kinsman redeemer was a male relative who had the responsibility to act on behalf of, rescue, or redeem a relative who was in trouble, danger, or need. This meant that he had the right to marry Ruth and restore her and Naomi to their rightful place in the community. This is in much the same way that Yahweh was Israel's Redeemer, and in the same way that Jesus is our Redeemer. Boaz was impressed by Ruth's kindness, integrity, and devotion to Naomi. He fulfilled the customary requirements and married Ruth. Shortly after, Ruth gave birth to a son named Obed. Obed was the grandfather of David, the future king of Israel. The story of Naomi is a story of hope and redemption. It shows how God can bring good out of even the most difficult circumstances. It also shows the power of love and loyalty, as Ruth demonstrated in her devotion to Naomi. Here are some of the lessons we can learn from the story of Naomi. God can use anyone who is willing, 1 Corinthians 1 31. But God chose the foolish things of this world to put the wise to shame. He chose the weak things of this world to put the powerful to shame. What the world thinks is worthless, useless, and nothing at all is what God has used to destroy what the world considers important. God did all this to keep anyone from bragging to him. You are God's children. He sent Christ Jesus to save us and to make us wise, acceptable, and holy. So if you want to brag, do what the scriptures say and brag about the Lord. Ruth loved Naomi and was obedient to what Naomi told her unconditionally and ended up being the great-grandmother of the great King David. God always has a plan for us, even in our darkest times. In their toughest moment, Ruth caught the eye of Boaz while gleaning in the fields, and that was the day their lives changed. 
The Bible is full of stories of people connecting to their destiny in their most difficult moments. Indeed, the verse in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future, should bring peace to every believer going through a trying time. Joy comes in the morning. The story of Ruth is a reminder that God is our Father and Redeemer. He can bring good out of even the most difficult circumstances and He will never abandon us.